Hey everyone, this is Miss Olson, and today we're going to read one of our Arkansas Diamond book nominees. This one has a title that reads, The Hugely Woogely Spider. There is our main character right there. This book was written by Ethan T. Berlin and illustrated by Carl Newsom Edwards. This book is a spoof. A spoof is a funny imitation of a very familiar song or story that most people know. In this case, the spoof is about the old song called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. I bet you know this song. If you do, sing it with me. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Did you sing it with me? Good for you. The publisher of this book is Farrar Strauss Giroux in New York, and the copyright date is 2018. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout, and so did the mitsy bitsy spider, and the litsy plitsy spider. And the witsy ditsy spider. Hmm. Okay. Basically, all the spiders I know climbed up the water spout. And they kind of implied that maybe I, the hugely woogely spider, was too big to climb up said water spout. Whatever. I could climb up the water spout if I wanted to. Which I don't. Because who wants to climb up a water spout that's filled up with comfy webs and buckets of bugs and piles of adorable leg warmers for all my adorable legs. Well, maybe I could try it. Hmm. This spout is a little tight. It must have shrunk in the wash. Ugh. They don't spout them like they used to. Ugh. Maybe I'm retaining silk. That's it, spout. Charge! Flomp! Ugh. A little help here? Oomph! Uh-oh. The other spiders are putting up a sign. Let's see. You must be at least this itsy bitsy to climb up the water spout. Uh oh. You can't be bigger than this sign. That leaves out somebody, huh? Oh boy, that's a problem, isn't it? But every good story has a problem that has to be solved by the main characters. Let's see what happens. Okay, maybe I'm not a water spout sort of spider. That's fine. They're kind of dangerous anyway because of all the... Oh, plip, plop, plip, plop, plop, plip, plip, plop, 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 rain! Hey, guys, weather's looking bad. There's going to be a lot more water and a lot less spout. Come on, guys, down comes the rain. It will wash the spiders out. Oh, my gosh. Look how slowly they run. <laughs> They're so adorable. They're so itsy-bitsy. They're so in trouble. Hugely woogely to the rescue. Time to plug this spout. Oh, there he goes. Wow. Lots of rain. Ouch. And twigs. Oh, ouch. And acorns. Jeez, people. Would it be too much to clean your gutters? Ah. 
I did it! I saved them! Yay! Out came the sun and tried to paw the rain. What? No! I dried up all the rain. The sun didn't do anything. It just stood there and got in people's eyes. It's true. Really? Really? You're just going to run away and not even thank me? Do you know the personal sacrifices I made on your behalf? Uh, and the only thanks I get is heaps and heaps of adorable leg warmers. Aww! To keep all of my adorable legs perfectly warm. And from that day on, the children of the land sang a new song. The itsy bitsy spider excluded the hugely woogly spider from the water spout. And down came the rain, but the hugely woogly spider saved the day. Out came the sun and served no useful purpose. And the itsy bitsy spider realized he'd been bad at sharing spouts and gave the hugely woogly, woogly spider adorable leg accessories for true okay maybe nobody sings it but me the end well how about that hmm that was a spoof a funny retelling of an old familiar story i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that song's not stuck in your head bye